Season 7 has brought cheer and glee, and as joyous as the Antarctic update was, it also, as per usual, broke the game. Again. Dang, Nabbit, you've lost the developers and your planes and all of you crazy Antarctic things that shop all over the map. Alright, it's not entirely their fault. I mean, with the scale and the sheer amount of things they've added, if the game didn't break, it would be pretty strange. I mean, games without glitches? <laughs> <laughs> that would be too easy. Keck, keck, get good. That's what the kids are saying nowadays, right? Keck and get get good. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I'm 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 pretty mad. Stop saying that. <laughs> Welcome back to Top Five Gaming, where today we break down the five worst Fortnite season seven glitches. Also, quick announcement: we're giving away a battle pass every day for the entirety of this week to celebrate the launch of season seven. So if any of the skins on that battle pass, which there are a ton of awesome cosmetics, interest you, all you have to do to enter for your chance to win is like, subscribe, and comment on the video. We want to give back to you guys for being so awesome. You might also want to link your social media to your YouTube's about page, or we may have to re-raffle your pass off to someone else because we simply do not have a way to contact you. We're really excited for this. Again, this is going to be going on all week. We're going to be giving away a battle pass every single day of the week. So for season seven, it's going to be like the seven days of Christmas in Fortnite. Once again, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment down below. And with that, let's get into it. Number five. The floating glitch. So we've seen our fair share of glider glitches in Fortnite. Pickaxes getting stuck in the glider, the glider not deploying or simply being able to dance while you're gliding down off the battle pass. However, one of the new glitches that came with Season 7 is actually OP. And for anyone that goes up against someone who's affected by this glitch, then you'll have to be extra careful taking on this opponent. Essentially what happens is your character's visual appearance gets stuck in a free fall animation. Looks like you're diving down from the battle bus, yet only a foot off of the ground. Now the overpowered part about all of this is the fact that you can still do everything as normal. You can build, you can jump and shoot, but with a much harder to hit body because you're laid down almost and your head is so far forward that you can actually peek enemies from behind builds without exposing yourself. You and your mates in a heated battle with another squad, no worries. Most players will most likely ignore you at first, assuming you're someone who's knocked just to realize their mistake a minute later when you're shooting them in the back. We're not 100% sure as to what causes this glitch, but after seeing so many of these clips now, I'm pretty sure it's caused by the planes when you get forced to eject. So be careful out there, guys. Be careful. Number four is to run into any item and immediately destroy it. Okay, so technically this is two glitches in one. One of the glitches could be really useful, but the other glitch that comes with it will most likely get you killed. Unless you don't want to jump for the rest of the game, then you might be okay. Basically, a new glitch has been discovered that allows you to break any structure in the map by simply touching it. We've seen a glitch like this once before, but that involved the quad bike and the floating island, but that one got patched fairly quickly. This one, on the other hand, is brand new and was brought to us with the zip lines. When jumping near the end of a zip line in the opposite direction of the wire, it can sometimes cause a massive glitch. Magnet will temporarily appear above your head, and now everything you touch will instantly break. You're now stuck on the ground for the rest of the game. No more high ground for you, buddy. It's a terrifying glitch when you realize that all your building is essentially useless, and that isn't even the worst part. When this glitch is affecting you, jumping can cause the glitch to shoot you in a random direction at incredible speeds. One moment you'll be trying to get off the zip line, and two seconds later, you're being flown into the opposite side of the map. I've never seen a glitch that launches players so fast across the map or directly up into the death barrier. But in at number three, we've got the phasing through any object. So Fortnite do everything they can to patch the previous season's glitches before they get a whole bunch of new ones. But some always slip through the cracks. We assume that since they had removed the shadow stones, we wouldn't see any more of these phasing glitches. But it looks like Fortnite couldn't fix this one as it's still in season seven today. When using the quad crashers, you probably phase through a wall or something every now and then when you're traveling so fast that it almost appears as if the game couldn't keep up with you and you end up just passing through things. Well, apparently going the complete opposite as slowly as you can also works. When in a quad crasher, just put the nose of the vehicle up to the item you want to phase through and in almost one process, press boost 
and get off the vehicle. If done properly, you can now get back on the quad crasher and drive straight into the item you've now made phaseable. And it's pretty dirty because you could just find someone camping in areas no one would know to even check for or look in. They just pop out as you're strolling past and you're dead before you can even begin to say cheater. In a number two, we've got zip lines sending players falling to their death. So I can't help but really appreciate the zip lines in Fortnite right now. They've made traveling the map a lot easier and they now save you so much material when you don't want to waste building up to the mountain. However, the only problem is they're a new and heavily used mechanic. And as always with these types of features, we get a whole bunch of glitches, a whole bunch of unreliability and a whole bunch of unhappy people who happen to fall victim to them. You may be the type of player that studies every new feature under a microscope, attempting to figure out every detail behind how it works, but that's not going to help you with the glitches. At the moment, we can jump on zip lines. You know, it allows us to turn around midway through or gives us a chance to dodge that bullet fire. I mean, you can even jump over players on the zip line. I'm seeing so many clips of players crashing into each other and falling to their death. And every time I'm like, why? Just, ugh. Neither of you even attempted to jump over each other or jump and turn around, but it's those kind of mistakes that help with the learning curve and what they learn that is. Getting back to the point though, this zipline glitch isn't as predictable as the previous one. This glitch appears to happen at any random moment when you're jumping on the zipline. Everything will seem fine until you're suddenly thrown off and most likely towards your death. At the moment, I would just avoid jumping in zip lines at the moment until they get fixed. That is if you're trying to win. If you're just playing for fun, then go for it. I'm not stopping you from using the new zip lines, but just know that you might just fall to your death randomly. Now, know when you're running a high kill game and it's the zip line that suddenly gets you killed. I mean, we learned this stuff back from Black Ops 1 Zombies Call of the Dead with George Romero, where he broke the animation. Just animations in general can be interrupted by all kinds of things like lag and server lag, all kinds of stuff. But as for the honorable mentions, we've got the Lynx pickaxe variants not requiring XP upgrades to use free skins. So the Battle Pass and Season 7 has been out for a couple of days now, and you'll have to let us know what your current favorite skin is. If you've been playing and grabbing that first 10,000 XP, then you've also managed to unlock that awesome scratch mark pickaxe. It's so cool. We haven't really had that many pickaxes recently, and so now getting this pickaxe, we finally have something as cool as this, is just really nice. Now, what if I told you that you could unlock all the different styles for it instantly? Oh my god! What? What? We could get free cosmetics through a glitch that we wouldn't be able to unlock for months? Oh, wait, nope, that's just the sound of me getting my hopes up again. This is probably one of the worst Fortnite glitches purely for how excited you get just to find out. It's all just a screw up. Basically, it appears as if you get all the color variants and you can go into your locker and it's Christmas. Yeah! It's a Christmas miracle, baby! And assign it, but if you actually go into the game, then it just resets the original style that you first unlocked, and it's all fake news, people. It's all fake news! Rip! Can I get a rip in the chat? For some reason, it's a visual glitch that shows you they're unlocked, when in fact, they're not. Number one, get out of the creative mode map. I, honest to God, don't know how these people find some of these glitches. This glitch takes a very specific set of settings and a very specific means of doing it, and, I mean, how'd they find it in one? One day just wow but getting on with it this glitch actually allows you to not only build on the main creative island but will also allow you to access the main battle royale island which you can edit as if you're still in creative pretty nice right Starting off, you want to head to any one of your actual creative islands. Once you've loaded in, go ahead to your settings and change pickaxe damage to instant and respawn height to all. Once this is all said and done, go ahead and build yourself a platform on the ground and place a plane on it. What you want to do is get into the plane and then hit respawn as quickly as possible. You have to do this a few times, but once successful, the game will respawn you on the creative hub island. Even though you have all your normal creative abilities, still, you're still limited due to the force field. However, you fly up to the top of the map due to the height limit and then drop into a free fall and hit respawn quickly, you'll be spawned on top of the height barrier and outside the confines of the creative hub. Now, with the ability to fly and all the creative abilities on your phone, you can head over to the main battle royale island and change it up how you please. Just don't expect those edits to be there in a normal game. This is, after all, just a glitch. But that has been our our list of the five worst Fortnite season seven glitches that broke the game. Also, quick announcement, we're giving away a battle pass every day for the entirety of this week to celebrate the launch of season seven. So if any of the skins on that battle pass, which there are a ton of awesome cosmetics, interest you, all you have to do to enter for your chance to win is like, 
subscribe and comment on the video. We want to give back to you guys for being so awesome. You might also want to link your social media to your YouTube's about page, or we may have to re-raffle your pass off to someone else because we simply do not have a way to contact you. We're really excited for this. Again, this is going to be going on all week. We're going to be giving away a battle pass every single day of the week. So for season seven, it's going to be like the seven days of Christmas in Fortnite. Once again, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment down below. And with that, keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.